51 to 59. The shooting percentages. Now Los Angeles is out shooting Boston. Most of them have been layoffs off the break. Boston, most of the field goals have come from the outside by the guards. And that's why the percentages show that. But look at the free throws. 12 more Celtic points at the free throw line. 17 to 5. Now, Tom Heinsohn. What brought the Lakers back in the game in the latter stages of that first half? They remind me of tigers in the high grass, ready to pounce on some prey. You've got to be ever alert and watch out for them. Any, any errant passes, they're ready to pick off. Any ill-advised penetration up the middle, they're ready, ready to steal the ball. So the second half for Boston? Boston has got to run like they did in the beginning of the ball game and hit those outside shots like they did to open up the power game inside. Okay. Individual scoring, Magic Johnson with 14. Jamal Wilkes and James Worthy each with 11 for the Lakers. Larry Bird has 13 to lead the Celtics. Cedric Maxwell has 11 points. The big story, Wilkes. He's back. Five for six from the field. 11 points. Two-point lead, Gerald Henderson. Once again, the guards continue to shoulder the burden of the baskets for Boston. That was Gerald Henderson. A good shot to stop the half with. An 18-footer. So it's Henderson and Dennis Johnson in the backcourt. Parrish gets the rebound. He and Kareem were in a standoff in the first half. As Kevin mentioned, they both had six points, and they both corralled seven rebounds. Uh, look how quickly those Lakers were back to protect against the Celtics' fast break. And the Celtics will have to keep pushing the ball at them. Dennis Johnson looking inside. Maxwell. Trying to get position against Rambis. Parrish. That'll drop. Robert Parrish. Came over from Golden State in a very big trade several years ago. The Celtics won a title then. Looking for another championship. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's been struggling from the field, that's so only his fourth basket in 12 tries. And it's 65-61. Celtics lead. Maxwell driving the lane. Rambis. Bumping it. Basic, 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 basic. Now the Lakers trying to get to within two again. Michael Cooper. Henderson gambling for the steal, and now they call the illegal defense against the Celtics on Robert Parrish, and that will be a technical foul. That's the second time Boston's been called on. Kareem was way above uh, the three-point circle, and Parrish had to stay above the foul line, and he didn't. Magic Johnson will take the technical foul. All these coaches are playing that illegal rule, and as Kareem calling the referee's attention to it, look at where Robert Parrish is. He's in the paint. And in the half gone by, third period. Okay. Michael Cooper. Kareem working against Parrish. Long skyhook, and it drops for Abdul Jabbar, who has hit two field goals early here in the third period and has 10 points. And the Celtic lead is down to one. The Lakers have never had the lead in this game. Bird gets it low. Near the basket. Not near enough. Maxwell, loose ball inside. Blocked by Kareem. And trying to save it and diving into the fifth row of the stands is Michael Cooper. I don't, I'm not exaggerating when I say fifth row either. A long leap by Michael Cooper as uh, a timeout is called, Dick. Exactly two minutes gone by in this third period, and L.A. is right on. Is looking for his first world title. He teamed with Bill Russell for two national titles at University of San Francisco. When Michael Cooper jumped into the fifth row, that gentleman took the brunt of Michael Cooper's shoe. And knee and everything. Blood, <laughs> bloodied but not bowed. Oh, he had a red shirt. Yeah. Tough fans here. Under 10 minutes to go, third period. One point lead. Lakers trailing the Celtics 65 64. Still Boston ball. Casey Jones, part of eight world titles, is a guard. Quiet, not colorful. A relaxed atmosphere has helped the Celtics. Right now, they need more than relaxation. Dennis Johnson hemmed in with three. Try to go up with a shot anyway, it appears. I don't know if that was a pass. That was a forced shot, Dick, and with all that defense in the paint that L.A. has, there's no place.
place for Dennis to go. He's got to take the outside shot. Lakers can take the lead for the first time in the ball game. At one point in the second period, they were down by 13, but now they have the lead. Abdul Jabbar, who has scored six points now in the third period, he's come alive. The Lakers have been alive for a while. They're up by one with 9.16 to play in the period. Dennis Johnson gives the Celtics the lead again. That's what he has to do, and that's what Henderson has to do to open up that inside game of the Celtic with their big people, hit the outside shot. And that's what Wetman and Ames did when they were in there off the bench. And they brought the lead up very nicely. Eight seconds on the 24-second shot clock. James Worthy. Now Randall. Three seconds, and Cooper is going for three points. And he forced that one. Birds, lead pass down, court to Johnson. Johnson trying for two in a row. He's hit two in a row. I don't know why he's hesitant to take it. He can hit it. Dennis Johnson in his eighth year from Pepperdine out in California. Kareem comes back and gets fouled and a slam. Reverse layup dunk underneath. It's been all Kareem for the Lakers in this third period. Two sky hooks sets up this move. Harris so afraid of the sky hook, he challenges him for it. And a nice roll move by Jabbar. Wow. That is smart basketball. That's playing with Harris's head. He has eight of the nine points the Lakers have scored here in the third. And now nine out of ten. Little head games go on with those big guys down there. We're tied at 69. A little more than four minutes gone by in this third period. Harris facing the hoop, lost his footing. And now they call the foul. It'll be the first foul on the Lakers in this period. And it's on Magic Johnson, the second personal foul on Magic. No one is in any foul trouble at this point. No, but Harris tried to do exactly to Kareem what Kareem did to him. Take it to the basket before the double developed. Henderson working against Magic Johnson. Nothing there. Larry Bird. Maxwell gets the offensive rebound, fights his way up, and draws the foul. That's what Max does for Boston. With the rotation of that double-team defense, that's going to allow somebody in the Celtics to stream in on that offensive board, and Maxwell does it oh so well. But Larry Bird really has not gotten on track with the long-range shooting. As of last Saturday, he was complaining to himself that he wasn't shooting well. He made a free throw here on Sunday, made the free throw, and got mad. I couldn't believe it. Harris talking to Ray Melchiori, the Celtics trainer. The trainers mean so much to these clubs. Jack Curran, of course, has done a terrific job with the Lakers. Maxwell has six rebounds, all of them off the offensive board, and he is a perfect nine for nine from the free throw line. Celtics by two, 7.50 remaining, third period. Kareem is way outside of the left. Dennis Johnson makes a steal on Cooper's pass. Here's Bird. Trying to get his shooting eye back. Larry has 15 for the game. Magic sets fire to the Lakers with his passing bird with his outside shooting. Dennis Johnson loses Cooper and Parrish picks him up. And Michael Cooper misses the shot. Rambis might have been shoving off and pushing off. He's called for the foul. It's a loose ball foul. There is Clark Kent in short pants. He was Superman two years ago. When he